the TVMDC app for iPhones and for iOS devices. It's designed to help sailors, budding sailors, train in the understanding of the TVMDC compass corrections, uh, what set and drift is, and how to calculate course to steer on a sailing boat or small vessel. So we have three screens. We have a TVMDC screen, we have a set and drift screen, and we have a course to steer screen. Three tabs on the bottom. The variation is the difference between true north and magnetic north. And we get this value from a compass rose that's written on your chart. It's written in the center of the compass rose. And we simply take that value and we record it. I'm going to put in a value of 3 degrees. It's the difference on my compass rows between true north and magnetic north. The annual change can be an increase or decrease in variation, and it's measured in minutes, so a 60th of a degree, and I'm going to put in 33 minutes. The current year relates to the current year of the chart, and this year it's 2016, but the chart, let's say, was uh, published in 1990. So this difference between these two years is going to multiply by the annual decrease in variation. The deviation relates to the boat's compass. And I'm going to put in 3.3 .3 degrees west. That relates to the offset in the ship's compass as opposed to the correct magnetic bearing off the ship. And it relates to the interference in the magnetic field, or the concentration of magnetic flux lines, as associated by the ferromagnetic metal on the boat. So if there's a big old chunk of iron on the boat, namely the engine block, the magnetic flux lines will be concentrated through the engine block, and that will cause a shift in what the boat sees or the compass sees as the magnetic north direction. So these are the three correction elements you need to put into the boat, the year and the drift, the variation, and the deviation on the boat. Now that those have been added in, if I select a bearing, and let's type in 100 degrees as, as a true north magnetic bearing, the magnetic bearing and the compass bearing will have offset values. If I calculate it, the, the true bearing here is 100 degrees, the magnetic bearing is now 88.7 degrees, and the compass bearing is 92 degrees away from true. If the compass bearing is, let's say, 90 degrees, and I calculate that, the compass bearing is 90 degrees now, the true is 98 degrees, and the magnetic is 87.7. So we can see this visually by clicking on the compass button here. The true bearing again is 98 degrees, the compass bearing was 90 degrees, the magnetic bearing is a little bit higher, and the compass bearing is a little bit less. Having recorded the TVMDC errors, the static errors associated with magnetics, the next error to capture is the set and drift error. The second tab, the set and drift tab, is designed to capture these errors and to calculate them. So these errors are the result of two, two factors. One is the leeway of the boat, that is to say the boat slippage due to wind or uh, slip through the water, which is counter to the direction that the boat is trying to go. As the wind blows the boat from the side during attack, for example, and the keel is not perfect, especially if you have a shallow keel like on a catamaran or a shoal keel boat, then you'll gain leeway. And this is sideways slip of the boat as opposed to a perfect into the uh, perfect sail into the direction that you're trying to go. The second factor is the set and drift of the current and that which is associated with the water uh, in which the boat is sitting. So that may be due to tide or it may be due to the current flowing in a river, for example, or, a, or an estuary. These two parameters, the set and drift of the water that you're sailing in, plus the leeway of the boat, the slippage of the boat, 
will add together to form the set and drift of the boat. So how do we calculate that? Well, we have to take two fixes uh, on, at two different locations and two different times. So we put these two fixes into here, the uh, latitude and longitude of fix one, and the time at fix one. And then at some time later, perhaps a few minutes or half an hour later, the fix two is recorded at a, se a second position and a second time. The boat speed is then recorded. That's the speed through the water that's recorded from the transducer, little paddle wheel that's sitting under your boat and is displayed on your meter in the boat. And the heading, that's the direction that the boat is pointing towards or attempting to go in, for example. And that heading is taken from a compass bearing here. Typically it's compass and not a true bearing. So these values are recorded uh, in the uh, uh, set and drift calculator. So in this screen, the values of the two fixes have been put in place. Uh, fix one here, fix two here. The time was two o'clock, 22 minutes. The second time was three o'clock, 45 minutes. The boat speed was five knots exactly, and the heading was exactly 90 degrees, compass bearing. Calculate button was pressed, and we can see the direction of the set. This is the direction that the boat is being pushed through either current or leeway, and it is drifting at 3.7 knots. It has drifted over the course of these, between these two times, approximately uh, 5.1 nautical miles. The speed over the ground is 2 knots. The time between the two fixes was 1 hour 22 and the distance between the two fixes was 2 nautical miles, 2.8 nautical miles. To get a visual understanding of the set and drift error, we can click on the triangle button here. And here, by putting on these switches, display setting switches, we can see the different components of the error. We started off at fix one, this location here. We ended up at fix two here. We were pointing in this direction, our heading here, 98 degrees. We try to get to this point here, the dead reckoning point. We started here, we were trying to get here. However, the drift, the set and drift error was forcing us back over to this point here. So this is the error component. We tried to go this way and this dragged us back to over here. This is where we actually landed. So this screen here shows you the extent of the error, the set and drift error. We drifted at 3.7 knots, kind of backwards, but at an angle, with an angle of 2.5, sorry, 257 degrees. But we've recorded the set and drift errors and the TVMDC static magnetic compass errors, we can now calculate our course to steer. Our course to steer starts off with our current position and it uh, requires our actual destination where we're really trying to go. Uh, we want to set a bearing, uh, we want to set the direction or the heading of the boat uh, in the direction to get to the destination, but taking into account the, the uh, set and drift errors and the TVMDC a compass bearing efforts. So errors. So we type in our compass position here, or we can just use our fix two here, which was taken from the uh, set and drift calculation. We can update our current speed from our transducer, and we're putting in five knots here. And then we need to type in our destination here. And our destination is uh, quickly just type that in here. Thirty-four. 21, 24. That's the direct. That's the actual destination where we want to go. We're going to take the set and drift from the calculations previous screen, or I could type in set and drift here from tables if I have a, some uh, set and drift tables. Drift tables, tables. But previously required using the two different fixes. Uh, I can just uh, take that value from tables as well if it's published by the Coast Guard, for example. Um, but we're going to use the previously calculated set and drift here, and then click on calculation. 
Now we've finally calculated the result that we're looking for. The course to zero is actually 34 degrees. Our distance to the destination is 13 nautical miles. And we've got 3 hours 47 um, hours of sailing time left. And our velocity made good should be 3.5 knots. Uh, the bearing to the destination is 347 degrees. And we can see that visually with a sailing triangle here. If we look at our fixes, our current position is over here. And um, actually, uh, our course to steer is over here. This is our uh, target. This is where we're going to head towards this target direction. But the set and drift and leeway are going to drag us back over to here so we make our final destination. So again, this is the error that we're fighting against, and this is our compensated uh, course to steer. So there's quite a big difference here in this case. This is where we're heading, but we're actually going to land up here, which is where we want to be.